Hey, pushing up, pushing up, new little video. And, um, <laughs> how do you like the hat? Uh, I got it as, uh, uh, well, as mostly knows, I, I moved now to Vancouver, so it's more coastals and stuff. And uh, somebody bought me um, as a good life gift, so uh, kind of started to like it, but <laughs> I find I'm. I'm stealing uh, Urban Prepper style there, so I look like his Canadian twin. <laughs> but sorry, Urban Prepper. No, uh, um, no, I'm not like uh, trying to copy you or anything. It just it really looks, it, it really works well. We're both kind of in the same environment. So uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry, Urban Prepper, but uh, yeah, you have a Canadian twin now. <laughs> so on this video, uh, I wanted to, uh, I was watching, uh, I, I get, as you know, I'm, I'm uh, subscribing to YouTube a lot, and so I get a lot of videos, and one of them is uh, TED Education, and sometimes I post uh, stuff, because they have pretty uh, cool stuff, and one of them was uh, on the uh, econo economic bubbles, and how they built and stuff, and uh, lately I've been mostly in kind of, almost like the philosophy of, of, um, so not survival, but uh, pre preparing for disasters and stuff. And most of the reasons uh, mentioned in the past, uh, I'm preparing for my um, so for that three day survivals and kind of working on something I, I kind of call the protocols and, and a whole kind of bunch of stuff like this. So uh, it. Um, it, it kind of, I know, and it seems like the the tone lately on YouTube, a lot of channels, is about that kind of philosophy, which I kind of like, because uh, uh, in uh, next video I'm gonna do, maybe uh, later today or tomorrow, uh, it's gonna be actually on that. I kind of had a flash and want to share it, and because um, uh, we we train and train, and um, it seems like we don't. Uh, not that we don't have a, a way, but it seems like we train just on one thing. And so this thing kind of take it more global. Anyway, I won't talk because I'll do like, it's, it'll be almost like a three thing video because I think it's it's a very, I think personally, it's a good concept for me. It's kind of was a revolution. It was not a revolution, but a, a revelation at uh, five o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. So <laughs> sometimes night shifts are useful for something. <laughs> but this one is on the, uh, on the bubbles. And they were talking that through history, we had a, a few um, economic bubbles where basically things are overpriced. And one of them was the tulips and stuff. And I'll, I'll put the link of the video uh, in the back, uh, uh, at the bottom, so that you can uh, watch it yourself. And it came to my mind. It's kind of almost a question, more than a, a friendship. But a lot of people talks about gold, silver, and antibiotics as uh, exchange and markets. And if the true things would collapse, and and things like that. And it came to my mind that. Uh, uh, I always, not that I kind of disagree, but I, I don't see, let's say, you know, you're purely in the survival modes and, you know, always the survival, because uh, when it would come down to this, like, you know, there's no more economy, no, no more anything, basically people would be trying to survive. And a lot of people say, oh, well, yeah, but true history has always been like silvers and golds, and so that's why you should put it on the side and everything. And it has a little bit of value to it. I mean, even in my own portfolio, I have kind of a little bit of gold separate. But again, it's because there's a market. Uh, so if there's a full 100% collapse of the market, all those that money and, and all the stocks and everything does not does not exist. So we're going back to uh, zero. If I go with a hypothesis, if that's possible, and um, they say that silver and gold would kind of have some value, and this is what I'm. Uh, that, that's kind of almost a question. That that's what the title of the of the video. Um, would, wouldn't uh, silver and gold and um, antibiotics? will be the bubble uh, of the economic bubble basically of the post collapse well uh, and why I'm saying that is because really if you think about it 
Well, I guess silver you could make like utensils or uh, well, like you know you could make tools with it if you would melt it and everything. But the, his own value would be really to melt. But because people are so ingrained in many videos of that would be the thing and I have it and. Uh, if you look at how our market works, basically, right, uh, the buyers, you know, 100% pure um, capitalism uh, 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 system where, you know, there's nobody, like, no government interference or there's no uh, um, subgroup or monopoly or anything. You have pure market value, which would basically would be, uh, which suppose unless you know militia takes over a region or something but that would be in another video i guess but if you would have like a pure hundred percent so that means like buyers want something and the sellers on the other side and, and market goes like this well the sellers always want to sell it at the higher price and the buyer always wants to buy at the lower price and so basically the market is where those two two meets well if you have too much uh, sellers for the amount of buyers that you have basically the price of your uh, of your things is kind of lower because somebody else may be willing to try to underpin you and basically uh, if you're selling at ten dollars they may be selling it at six dollars because they prefer to make six dollars than uh, losing their six dollars so you can see where it goes and basically that's what the bubble is is that um, everything gets overpriced and then at one point the buyers are like eh, I'm not buying anymore we don't really need it, this stuff and they kind of realize uh, that the market there's no more uh, realization for it and so now you have all this market and everything and so the reason that I'm saying gold and silver um, could be the next bubble is that a lot of people they say oh yes carry some silver and sell it and everything maybe at the beginning because people money would be still important uh, what I call kind of phase one of a disaster people are still kind of used to the old system and how it works and uh, like I was uh, in a future video I think I'll mention um, you know looters would be probably the first thing they would try to go go for the big uh, plasma TV and stuff until they realize that hey uh, I have big plasma TV but there's no electricity in the grid and there's nobody to buy my TVs because now everybody is focused on kind of phase two where it's pure survival as fee, uh, the basic needs so you know shelter uh, 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 feeding themselves protecting their kids and or their family or anything like this and so they go on the other side and so this is where I don't know where silver and gold would kind of restart unless maybe at one point there's kind of uh, uh, thing but even that i don't know if uh people would probably at this time be able to exchange you know i'm going to give you four eggs for uh for a tool and so tools would be more important maybe even the um uh low uh low metals like um uh plastics and uh, uh any other thing to make tools so uh, irons and, and uh, copper and things because you want maybe electricity so those would be probably even more value than silver and gold because uh, silver like I said maybe you can do bullets maybe there's a few things if you melt it but other side and there's the value of melting and making tools making the tools themselves so probably is more the skills and if you look at markets that's pretty much what it works I mean right right now because we work on computers and stuff somebody can come here and fix my computer so they're making money out of their service because we're more like a, a service uh, society when before we were more like blacksmithing it was again their expertise that we wanted so we're, it, we're, it's more an economy of expertise but if somebody can know uh, like a chemist probably in a, in a post collapse would kind of make uh, be able to do some uh, substance like again metals or be able to uh, purify uh, from a car or whatever recycle the stuff that we could find uh, scavenge and recycle it to be able to make tools out of it and stuff so there would be kind of another industry that we built but um, gold maybe a little bit in the electronic it's a little bit of, uh, has some use into those but otherwise it doesn't have much uh, value to it and anything in a market has value because you give a value to it like you know the dollar goes up and down because people buy or or sell those dollars but 
the dollar himself is just a piece of paper there's no values to it so i think at the same time silver and gold in the post especially if a lot of people they seem so much like oh i got it i got it i got it well, okay so now you flood the market the new market with all those values and there's not really a buyer because like i want food i, I don't like a chunk of silver, well, uh, there's not much value to it, like, you know, uh, nutritious, yes. Um, so, so that's why uh, it would probably be like the bubble, like everything would be kind of up or inflated and probably would collapse. And why the antibiotic as well? I'm doing some research now and, and uh, in my future um, medical video, I'll be talking a little bit more about antibiotic. I'm still kind of on the fence about their use as, um, yes, like, I mean, the society that we have right now, we, we're very dependent on on, uh, on antibiotics and actually it's creating problems, creating a uh, um, uh, resistance to it. And, but in the way that we use it is like, I go to the hospital they do cultures, they do things, and then we give the right antibiotics. And so even if you pile a bunch of antibiotics uh, and whatever kind that you want to give, and then you, you give it to someone, that doesn't mean you're giving the right antibiotic for whatever you have. And I mean, it, it's uh, even like sometimes like in the hospital and trained medical people uh, have a hard time uh, differentiating something like for example bron uh, uh, bronchitis which is pretty much just a viral infection versus uh, in a, a pure pneumonia and it's not just by the sputum and everything so they need all those culture and you need to know which kind is pneumonia also like even if you go into pneumonia then there's viral pneumonia there's different pneumonia uh, and then also out of those you have some uh, some ones that could be resistance, especially when we're talking about post collapsing, where people would be in close contacts. Uh, it could emerge with different antibiotics, uh, well, different um, strain of antibiotics, different uh, uh, sorry, not antibiotic, but a different uh, strain of bacteria, different strain of virus, and so the use of antibiotic is very like, oh, I'm gonna stockpile the uh, a big antibiotic and I'll be safe but uh, maybe after a while a lot of people will realize like hey there's other stuff that I could do like prevention cleaning your hands um, to prevent to have this and even that when I try antibiotics a few times and they don't work because either I don't have the right one or I use it for the wrong con uh, from from the wrong reason again the market would probably collapse because people would be like hey hmm, uh, there's either other things I can do and so instead of giving you food for my antibiotics now suddenly basically I can um, uh, give food or you're saying for a tools that it can give me more food and so the price of antibiotic will maybe even uh, drops uh, but again when you look at a lot of YouTube videos or, and a lot of the mentality of preppers is that yeah, yeah, you have to pack on antibiotics. It's going to be a good items and everything. And I'm not sure. I think it's maybe overvalued uh, because, like I said, during the uh, when you're going to start to to act on it, maybe people will see there's not that much of a value to it, or it's not as much of a value that a lot of people say. It's like you know, it's not worth like three days of food for a little bottle of antibiotic that maybe work maybe not work because maybe it's not for what you need it or it's not exactly um what i need so again like i was saying antibiotic i'm kind of on the fence i'm doing a little bit of research on my own i uh, have a pharmacist at uh, at work that um sent me some paper of because also in antibiotics like if you go to the hospital a lot of them will going to give intra uh, iv because it's it's all about dose and stuff and i'll do a video explaining all that and so just by po because that's most likely the, the one that we could get we could maybe get an intramuscular but to give a uh, full dose intravenously would be very unlikely um because of having the first of all the batch of it and how to administer uh, so it would be mostly uh for the mouth. So, um, so anyway, so that's why I um, wanted your opinion uh, with uh, gold, silver, and antibiotic be the next economic bubble post um, post collapse. Talk to you soon.